addressing one specific question, really, and that was, you know, is is evolution a random thing? how he ends his essay. His essay is called Darwinian Dice. He ends it, if God's plan were to find optimal solutions, he, could, he, capital H, could not have chosen a better way to design things than by evolution. Imagine how different things have evolved, like an eye, for example, mm -hmm. a really complex organ, right, that uh, it has always been kind of a object of fascination by evolutionary biologists, but also uh, creationists too, or intelligent designists, because you can think of a, an eye as a total working organ, but you can't, it's difficult to think of the evolutionary steps that gradually make an eye, right? Let's say that there is an optimal genotype. So what would be the um, probability, by chance alone, that we would get this optimal phenotype by just rolling the dice, by random chance of rolling. That is, we take all three of the dice and we roll them all together. One chance out of how many faces are there on the die? It's a cube, so there's six. So we have one die there. Chance of getting a one out of uh, a one is one out of six. And or times. We have a second die. We also have a third die. So this is one out of, what was it, 216? If we were just rolling these dice, it probably would take about 216 times, right, to, to get 111. Let's use selection instead and see if that gives us the same kind of random chance or if it's better than chance. We get uh, a one and a six and a five, let's say, in our first roll. Then we would we would keep that one because that would be selected for, right? And it would be inherited in the next generation. The next generation basically being, you know, the next roll of of the dice. And then we would roll two dice, right? And maybe we might get a one in that case. We preserve that one and just roll this one. So that's a different way of rolling the dice. That's what selection does. Eleven point something, right? About eleven. That's a lot different from two hundred and sixty. Now this was with three dice, and in a genome there is a lot more genes than just three genes. Uh, even you know the simplest viruses have more genes than just three. So what would happen if we added a lot more genes? Obviously, I mean we could spend all day just like rolling dice, um, but we can also use computers to help us out. Anybody calculate what the chance might be for, for nine dice by chance alone um, to get this particular sequence of numbers? One over six to the ninth power, which would be what? This is ten million nine hundred and eleven thousand nine hundred and thirty-five rolls. So the chance was very, very low. It's very improbable to get that particular optimal genotype. 
All right, what about natural selection? So this rolls the dice just exactly in the same way that you guys did. Seven rolls. Huh? That's a huge difference. Certainly it's a lot more efficient than 10 million. Can a religious person celebrate your dice model oh. idea? And how? Yeah, I think I think it can be celebrated. I mean, selection can be celebrated as a, as a mechanism by religious people. I mean, there's nothing in the Bible that says anything about how, you know, how God created things, right? Well, seven days. There's no mechanism. Right? How did God create? How did God do that? Right. There's nothing in the Bible about that, right? I mean, maybe it lumps of clay, but okay, how did he shape the lumps of clay? Science just can provide, you know, those kinds of mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So why should we celebrate that? God created our brains to think about these things. Why do we have brains?